beautiful Bush Stadium in the background there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Frank the Tank here, and we are playing in St. Louis today, taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Both teams with identical 16 and 7 records tied atop the National League Central. Crucial early season division series here. Bush Stadium in the background. You see the St. Louis Arch. Nice day game going on here, and we are sending... John Neese to the mound. First gameplay on the channel. You're going to see a John Neese. Um, stats are good. 2 0 with a 2.08 ERA. You guys know if you watched the first couple videos of the series, I'm not a fan of John Neese. Really hurt, hurt my heart to have to trade Neil Walker for him. But what are you going to do? We're trying to keep this as realistic as possible with the Pirates franchise. So we see our lineup here Polanco, 210. That average needs to come up. Marte's gotten his average from 170 to about 215 since the last video. McCutcheon 355 hitting out of this world. Taking on the veteran Lance Lynn, 3-1 with a 2.57 ERA. We have our work cut out for us. St. Louis is wearing those nice kind of like throwback looking unis. I don't know if that's their home, their default home jerseys. I don't think they are. I think that's like a kind of throwback or alternate but whatever, it's not important. First batter of the game, Gregory Polanco. We get a pitch to hit, and we drive it deep right center, but that ball is caught. Could have done a lot more with that one, but unfortunately, we do not. Next batter of the game, Starling Marte. 0-2 count early here. The pitch from Lynn. Strike three. Swings over that slider. Awful piece of hitting there by Marte going down on three strikes. Next batter, Andrew McCutcheon. First pitch swinging. Going to roll this one over. Matt Carpenter on to get that and fires on to first for the out. Lance Lynn gets out of the top of the first unscathed, and we will send John Neese to the mound for the bottom of it. Steven Piscotti, Holiday, Carpenter, Gritchick, Peralta, Jerko, Molina, Adams, and Lynn. The lineup there for the St. Louis Cardinals. Definitely some big threats in there, but John Neese is not intimidated with that 2-0 record. 2.08 ERA and 4 starts. He has to show me a lot. Um, because even though this is a realistic franchise, if we get to the point in the middle of the season... I will not hesitate to drop him or trade him as he gives up a leadoff single here to Steven Piscotti down the left field line. Marte cuts it off and gets it in before Piscotti has ideas of two. Next batter, left fielder Matt Holiday, perennial all-star 0-2 count. Going to fist this off the inside part of the bat into right field, but Polanco is on to make the catch. Nothing going on there. Uh, Piscotti now on second due to a pass ball. Matt Carpenter up. He is going to hit this one back up the middle. Easy play for Harrison, but he runs right past it. McCutcheon on, firing home, and he is safe on the bang-bang play. Cervelli cannot handle the throw. I have no idea what happened. I ran right to the ball with Harrison, and I went right between his legs. But whatever. Johnny Peralta up here. Or no, that's Randall Gritchick, excuse me. He's going to hit this ball back into center field. McCutcheon will pick up and fire onto the cutoff man. But we have first and third with one out. Bad situation for John Neese. Johnny Peralta at the dish, one out. The first pitch of the at-bat, he joins it to Mercer. Mercer runs, taps on second, fires the first, and he just gets Johnny Peralta for the 6-3 uh, double play to end the inning. Nice play there by Jordy Mercer. Nice ground ball induced by John Neese. That's what he is known for. Jung Ho Gong, 293 on the year. Three home runs, 1-2 count the pitch. This ball is crushed. Deep center field, it is gone. Jung Ho Gong dials up long distance, and we have a run on the board. Tying the game at 1-1, to one, third baseman Jung Ho Gong clubs his fourth home run of the year. That ball travels an estimated 435 feet. It was absolutely smashed. That's gone, and the game is tied 1-1. Later in the inning, runners on first and second. Jordy Mercer at the plate gets an inside pitch that he could handle, and he crushes this deep left field. That's going to get past a diving holiday, and the runners are off to the races. Josh Harrison going from second, rounds third. The throw goes to third. Harrison is home standing up. That's an RBI single for Jordy Mercer. We are up 2-1. Two, two, Bottom second, 3-2 count. Yadi Molina, the pitch, freezes him with that fastball right down the middle, and that's strike three. Yadi goes down on strikes. Later that inning, 2-2, Lance Lynn. 
Same story. Strike three, four seamer freezes him in his tracks. Two strikeouts that inning for Nice. Bottom four, Matt Adams is a victim to that slider. Another strikeout for John Nice. And this video is quickly turning into a John Nice highlight film as our offense is silent after that second inning. Lance Lynn again down on strikes here in the bottom of the fifth. Few batters later, we have third baseman Matt Carpenter, one of the most dangerous hitters in the National League. One, two count, two outs the pitch. He gets frozen by that 12-6 curveball. Another strikeout for John Neese as we go into the sixth inning here at Bush Stadium. Another batter. Same story for John Neese. Two, two count the pitch. Strike three. Beautiful placement on that 12-6 curveball. And John Neese is on fire today. Pitching exceptionally well for us holding this dangerous st louis cardinals offense to one run through six innings and nice doing it with the bat too he's gonna crush this ball down the left field line past matt holiday it gets to the wall holiday fires into the cutoff john nice is into second with a stand up lead off double next batter gregory polanco runner in scoring position 1-0 pitch Crushes this ball deep right center field. This is going to get down. John Neese can crawl home if he wanted to. Polanco not satisfied with two. He's going to third and the throw goes home. So he makes it uncontested with an RBI triple. 3-2-1 here in St. Louis. Next batter, Starling Marte, ground ball. Gets through. Matt Holliday's going to pick it up and fire home. Some indecision by Polanco at third. He's out. Beautiful play by Matt Carpenter. Nice to get the tag down for Molina. Bottom seven, one-two count. Yachty goes down on strikes again. John Neese with his seventh K of the game. Matt Holliday up here, 3-1 to one game. Two outs, the pitch. Nice hangs a curveball, and this one is out of here. Matt Holiday with the opposite field. Three run jack, his fifth on the season. John Nice can't believe it. His only bad pitch of the ball game, and that's going to give the Cardinals a 4 to 3 lead. This is going to rile that crowd up and takes the air right out of the Pirates' balloon. Top eight, runner on first, new addition, John Jaso at the plate, gets the pitch. This ball crushed, right center field, it's back, Harrison knows it's down, he's on his horse, that ball will hop off the wall, Josh Harrison comes all the way from first to score, and John Jaso with the clutch RBI double to tie the game at four. Grady Sizemore, offseason acquisition, the veteran lefty pinch hitting here, in the top of the eighth, four pitcher John Neese, 1 0 count. Broxton on the hill, the pitch rolls it to the shortstop. Johnny Peralta on to first. Bad throw, but a beautiful pick there by Matt Adams. And Sizemore is retired, 6 3 on the putout. Replay here of John Jaso's long RBI double. Couple feet away from a one run lead, but we will take it. Top of the ninth inning. Andrew McCutcheon at the plate. Broxton gets the sign. The pitch. McCutcheon swings. It's a drive. Deep left center field. It is gone. Andrew McCutcheon. Solo home run here. Top of the ninth to put your Pirates ahead. Five to four. Clutch piece of hitting by McCutcheon there. Broxton cannot believe it. He is notorious for getting pummeled by the Pittsburgh Pirates. Say that five times fast while McCutcheon rounds the bases. Clint Hurdle happy about that. We will take a 5-4 to four lead here in the top of the ninth. Number seven for Andrew McCutcheon. And of course, bottom of the ninth. Who else is going to come into the game as we see a replay of McCutcheon absolutely crushing this ball? No doubt about it, 400 plus feet. Our all-star closer, arguably the best closer in baseball, Mark the Shark Melanson. 1-2 count here to Yadier Molina. The pitch, strike three, looking at the cutter. Perfect placement on the outside corner. Molina's third strike out of the game. He's not happy. Next batter, Matt Adams. 2-2 two -two count the pitch. Strike three, freezes him with that 97-mile-per-hour four-seam fastball. 
A couple batters later, we have Randall Gritchick. He can play hero. 3-2 count with a runner on first. The pitch. He's going to drive this to the right center field gap, but Polanco ranges to his right. And ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it here today in Pittsburgh. As you see in the dugout, Tony Watson getting the congratulations as he picks up the victory. His third on the year. He came in in the bottom of the eighth in relief after we pinch hit size more for John Neese. Uh, it was a nice game for John Neese. I think he ended up with seven strikeouts, um, but that home run in the bottom of the seventh to Matt Holliday almost sealed our fate. But the clutch hitting of our new acquisition first baseman, John Jaso, in the top of the eighth with that RBI double to score Josh Harrison from first. And then, of course, Andrew McClutchin with that solo home run top nine. Mark the Shark Melanson jumps in to add the save, his ninth of the year. Kang was two for five with that home run that we saw in the top of the second. Uh, Polanco, that three run or that RBI triple was clutch. Jaso the double and McCutcheon two for four with that go ahead solo home run. Ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for this episode of our Pittsburgh Pirates franchise number five in the books. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new. Stay tuned for the next installment of the series. Head over to Twitter, follow me, at Diamond Frank. Going to do some giveaways over there soon, and also we're four subs away from 1,000 giveaways when we hit 1,000.